Can a dealership repossess my car if I'm inside it? It's a question that almost sounds like the start of a bad joke, but given the often precarious world of finance and car ownership, it's a scenario that some might actually fret about. The short answer? Yes, they can. But let me explain because it's definitely not as straightforward as repo men yanking you out of your car in the middle of traffic. First off, the act of repossession stems from a breach of contract. That is, you've missed payments, and the dealership, or more accurately, the finance company, has the legal right to take back what's technically theirs. It's an unpleasant situation for everyone involved, to say the least. The notion that being physically in your car shields you from repossession falls into a murky area of legal and ethical debate. In practice, most reputable repo companies aim to avoid confrontation. The last thing they want is a situation that escalates into a physical altercation, or worse, becomes a public spectacle. The overarching goal is to repossess the vehicle as smoothly and quickly as possible, which means waiting until the car is unattended. But let's entertain the scenario where you are indeed in the vehicle they intend to repossess. The repo agent can inform you of their intentions but cannot forcibly remove you from the vehicle. That crosses into assault or even kidnapping territory, legally speaking. It's not a part of a repo agent's job description or legal rights. If faced with such a situation, they're likely to call the police for assistance. However, just because they can't forcibly remove you doesn't mean your occupancy is a magic shield. The legality of the situation doesn't change. You still breached your contract, and the car still needs to be returned to the lien holder. If anything, being physically present and refusing to vacate could further complicate matters for you, potentially adding legal charges depending on how you interact with the repossession agent and law enforcement. So while you might momentarily delay the inevitable by being in your car, it's not a viable strategy for keeping your vehicle. It's certainly a less than ideal situation all around. I'd always recommend communication with your lender the moment you sense financial trouble brewing. It's in both parties' interest to find a solution that doesn't end with repossession. And remember, nobody in Portland, or anywhere else for that matter, wants to deal with the emotional and financial turmoil repossession brings. Consider this an additional incentive to manage those car payments with as much diligence as possible.